Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, so please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. Pick up what does resonate with you and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Hope you guys are doing okay. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. Okay, listen y'all. I'm going to tell you a little story before we start this reading. So last night I did, um, I, I drew myself a bath. I did a, uh, hold on, crap. I did um, a spiritual bath, okay? And, you know, everything was going as usual. And then, oh my god, no. Oh, I think I fucked up. Oh, well. <laughs> I fucked up with the camera. It is what it is. Okay, so listen. Oh, that's another thing, too. Okay, someone here knows that they fucked up, all right? Somebody knows they fucked up. Because after I was done with my spiritual bath, I was, like, cleaning out the tub. Um, and <laughs> my right ear had, like, this bit, like, this, like, loud but, like, low tone. Um, low, low pitch, low in pitch, but loud in volume. And I was just like, ooh, and it kind of like shook. It felt like it shook. I don't know how to explain it. Long story short, after I sat there for a second, like in the energy to figure out what this was, I knew somebody was angry. I knew whatever this thing was that I was being warned about is of some sort of negativity, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, you need to know that the trash is being taken out of your guys' life. That includes people, places, things, entities, demands, okay? They're all being released from you. And and these things are angry. These people are angry. They're angry. Okay? Um listen. There's a there could be there's definitely someone here ramping up the whole monitoring spirits, monitoring familiar um, spirits to y'all. So just be mindful of that. Make sure you pray against it. Make sure you pray to, to blind or deafen them or just to get them out your energy in general, okay? Um, what else was I going to say? I'm also getting like, be cautious about the people that you, you interact with at this time. Okay. Cause this time is like, it's crucial. I keep feeling like it's crucial or it's like, a I don't know, but maybe you guys need to just be, especially to my impasse, be mindful of who you entertain. I guess, energetically, all right? Maybe you need to, like, keep yourself away from people or... This is another thing I'm getting. If you guys are, like, setting boundaries with certain individuals um, and you're, you're expressing to people that you're saying no or whatever it is, and you could... If you're someone who has a problem saying no, if you're someone here who's trying to break out the cycle of being a people a people pleaser, you're going to have people that you say no to or set boundaries with that are going to start calling you selfish. They're going to start saying that you're mean or you're a horrible person because you said no to something or because you set a certain boundary with them, okay? Listen... You're going to have abusers calling you an abuser. You're going to have narcissists calling you a narcissist. You're going to have... You're, you're, you're going to be... You're being asked right now to remain grounded when, the, when these accusations come at you. Because they're going to come. We do have Mercury retrograde coming around the corner. And these people from your past that you cut off... They're going to have a lot to say about you and what you got going on. They're going to have a lot to say about what boundaries you have set. They're going to they're gonna have a lot to say about a lot of things that don't fucking matter, basically. Okay? Th th what they're really upset about is that you don't give a fuck. That's what they're really mad about. 
that you don't care. And you not caring makes them feel insignificant. Okay, because they felt like a big bad wolf or the big top dog when they were able to get a reaction out of you, when they were able to um, control you emotionally. Okay? So just be aware of that. Also, be be aware of people that like you'll discover who shouldn't be in your energy when you do set boundaries and they give you backlash for it that's 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 a confirmation for you to know like okay yeah that person definitely i should have set boundaries with okay so just keep that also in mind i'm also getting like one of your enemies or karmic here might might um decide to make their own like um okay for instance this is this message isn't for everyone but for instance if you are a content creator if you make content of any kind okay on twitter tiktok um youtube um instagram what's the other ones i don't fucking know if you make content in any of those types of platforms right you're gonna have a karmic or an enemy of yours that's gonna start their own uh platform and they're gonna be shitting on you that's their whole goal is to shit on you or or to compete with you so just be mindful of that or if someone's trying to do this to like defame your character i don't know that's the vibe i'm getting though Also be mindful of who you mentor or who you teach your knowledge to or share your knowledge with when it comes to like spirituality or your understanding of the spiritual journey or your own journey kind of thing. Okay, because not everyone has the best intentions for you right now. And another thing too, just as a side note, I know I get a lot of emails from people asking me to help them like um figure out what type of signs and symbols what they mean that they're receiving or some sort of dreams that they're receiving they always try to they, they, i know i have people like trying to ask me like what it means okay or how or or what what they're being guided to do and the thing is if you're someone who has spiritual gifts and you're receiving messages I would be doing you a disservice and handicapping you if I if I were to tell you what what I perceive it to be because the thing is I might be wrong because when you are in training to be a high priestess or a high priest the messages and visions that you are going to be receiving and the dreams you're going to be receiving they're they're specifically tailored to you because God is speaking to you how he knows how he can get like have you understand the best if that makes sense like God knows you okay more than I know you so start just paying attention if you're someone who's receiving messages and you can't figure out what it means or what's going on and blah 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 write it down write everything down get a little notebook start writing stuff down even things that you may think are insignificant write them down if it does something to your soul if it makes you feel like huh, something about that maybe i should write it down write down write it down and then look over it okay because you got to figure out how god speaks to you how the universe speaks to you how source speaks to you because source speaks to us differently all of us very differently okay anyways let me let me get back to what i was gonna say or let's get let's get into the reading holy spirit holy angels what's going on so you got you got people from the past that are gonna try to um fuck with you basically we got 0303 zero, three, zero, three, taking chances see how the gosh dang camera i'm mad now because i done fucked it up <laughs> oh my god okay so we have when chances present themselves seize them and do something out of the ordinary whether in your professional or personal life it says you will find success by welcoming creative impulses and having faith in your own abilities trust in chance and take risks on opportunities that could change your life for the better okay you're about to be made free okay and you need to stay optimistic and 
there's someone here that wants you to miss out on an opportunity as well okay either with a person a place a job something child what else they need to hear a lot of threes you guys can be seeing three 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 a lot we have one three three one good fortune whoever i'm speaking to this is for you you got good fortune on the way all right it says have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future it says a piece of good advice a moment of en enlightenment or a comforting message is on its way everything will work out in your favor and you see what's crazy too you see how like my camera's all fuzzy and unfocused here someone wants you to be like that someone wants you to be fucking unfocused someone wants you to be focused on them because as long as you're focused on them, you're not focused on, you know, taking chances and moving forward and getting some sort of success here, child. Focus on yourself right now, all right? Um, I'm also getting like somebody wants you to feel like you're not going to be receiving some sort of good fortune as well. Someone doesn't want you to feel comfortable. Or someone doesn't want you to feel comforted or feel safe, okay? Someone doesn't want you to feel like you can do something on your own. Someone doesn't want you to feel like, you know, you, you're going to be free from something. Okay? Tell me more. These motherfuckers need to fucking... We got 777 child. You got wealth on the way. Spiritual wealth and other types of wealth. Okay? We have this message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. Someone wants you to feel like you, you don't know what's going to be happening for you. Like, someone wants you to be scared of the unknown or something. Don't be. We have, um, you'll come out winning from everything that you may come, that may come your way. It says, it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share. Yet, you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to others. You got good luck. Somebody wants to take your good luck from you, child. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Seats taken. Okay, we got zero, 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 zero. You are a limitless being, baby. Anything you put your mind to, you can achieve, okay? It says it serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a reality. It says if something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you, okay? So if you're, don't, there's no need for you to like envy other people of what they have or co care, compare and contrast. I was almost going to say Karen. Damn. There's no reason for you to compare and contrast your life to other people's lives. Because you don't know what that person had to do to get what they had to get. You don't know what that person went through to get what they had to get. You don't know what type of lessons that this person had to learn. You don't know what how many times that person failed in order to get what they got. Okay? So that's one thing second thing is if it's possible for someone else to achieve something then that means it's possible for you to achieve it too okay it says um so try to remain calm it says what's meant for you won't pass you by and that's the fucking truth okay let go of tension and relax let go of any manifestations that you're like wanting to manifest i'm not saying like give up on them i'm just talking about like um don't hold on to them too so tight don't don't you know someone needs to like send it off to the universe and and trust that it's gonna come when it's supposed to come okay something about control issues child i don't know <sighs> lord have mercy Spirit, what's going on? Should I just dive into like Big Bertha right now? I feel like I should do it. Ooh, it's 1414 on the clock. Let's figure out what that means. I know it has something to do with love for sure or something about like the twin flame journey, but don't quote me. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You guys could be seeing 1111 right now. Okay. Like a lot. Or you guys could be seeing 1010 a lot. Or 919. We're going to look that up too. Hold on. Let me look up. Uh, 919. Wow. Okay. So 919 says. 
This angel number is associated with powerful spiritual energy and closure. It says it's time for you to transition into new and exciting life changes. Okay. I like this. Let me see what else this is. It says angel number 919 reminds you that you are being guided towards a fresh start. It encourages you to let go of the past and embrace the opportunities ahead of you. Let go of the past. If you guys are still holding on to um, resentment, anger, hurt, bitterness, when it comes to people in your, in your past that have done you wrong or people who have currently in your present moment have done you wrong, you need to, you need to forgive them and forgive yourself. Like for instance, if you're someone who's intuitive, okay, and you dealt with somebody that you feel like, you know, fooled you, they got you, you fall, you fail for something, you, you, you failed to, you know, heed the warnings or the red flags or something, don't beat yourself up, okay? It happens to the best of us, truly, because it's, the thing is, it's our big hearts. We always want to see the best in people. We always want, you know, to see just like the good parts of individuals. We focus on that. And that sometimes gets us in trouble because then we start shushuing and poo pooing or, you know, the other stuff. We, we try to, we tend to like push it to the side and it's, that's, we need to stop doing that shit. Okay. Um, so that's angel nine, or that's angel number nine, one, nine, says your single status your single status or dating life angel number 1414 is is asking you to get back to basics in your own relationship with self and the foundations of who you are okay dope says angel number 1414 is all about balance and urges us to practice giving our energy to those who will give it back in the right ways so no more expecting or accepting less than what we deserve if we're giving a certain amount of energy to somebody and they're not reciprocating that is it, it, we gotta it's good it's a cut off it's a no okay angel number 1414 can signify a transitional period in your life but it is here as a message from your guardian angels reminding you that solid foundations and i can't read the rest child listen something good is coming in that's all I know. Let's get out these and <laughs> figure out what we got. What we got going on in the energy spirit. Actually, I'm being drawn to this deck real quick. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Ooh, what's going on? What do we need to know at this time? You got peace. Peace is going to be entering your life. Okay? I don't know if you can see it, child, because this gosh dang camera. Peace. Okay? Or you need to make sure that your environment is peaceful. I'm also getting, it's like, the way out is the way through, so... Whatever is about to happen in this Mercury retrograde, just keep reminding yourself that the way out is the way through. All right? You got this. Try your best to make your environment a peaceful one. Or try your best to remain peaceful within. All right? We got the tribe here. You're not alone in this at all. Okay? Tell me more. What's going on? We got flexible. You're being asked to remain flexible at this time, okay? Because there's going to be, I'm telling you, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people from your past reaching back out to you, wanting to, wanting to have a ticket to your ride, okay? Tell them, hell no, <laughs> to the no, 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 hell to the no, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Remain flexible. 
We have fork in the road. All right. There's a choice that you're going to have to make, guys. Okay. Ooh. Something. It, this choice might come out of nowhere. It's some sort of lucky break, lucky opportunity. We have summer serendipity. I can't even talk. You know the word. It's this. Something is going to be coming out of nowhere. You may not. It's like, okay, this is nice. Okay. There's a choice that you're going to make that could transform your whole fucking life, child. Okay. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. This could be you or someone else. Or you guys could be seeing a lot of monkeys or seeing a lot of owls or a lot of, uh, I don't know what this is, an antelope. A llama, a reindeer, I don't know. You guys could be seeing a lot of a lot of doves. Yeah, someone here <laughs> Child, somebody's envious of how much you love yourself, I feel like. Or there's someone here envious because there's somebody that they know that um loves you, or someone's envious about this union you're about to be in, this this romantic union. Wow, we got love here. Or someone's just envious that people love you in general, okay? Things are going to be made balanced in your life. You got happiness on its way. Okay. Balance is being restored. You just need to remain calm while you see all, all the other people running around with their head chopped off. Like, you're going to be seeing people like... <laughs> and the reason why they upset, another reason why I'm some of these karmics are upset are because they were trying to cloud your judgment on what your life purpose was they did not want you to figure that out okay some of them have maybe some of them have spiritual contracts to where they were they signed up to stop you from getting into your purpose and they failed okay we have purpose here it says i know what i'm here to do somebody doesn't like that you know that what you're here to do okay they they want you to fucking forget it they want to, to erase it from your memory i don't know i'm also getting something about the the movie eternal sunshine of a spotless mind it, it's also like there could be somebody from your past that is so angry because they feel like you erased them from your memory and the reason they feel that way is because you're no longer stuck because this could have been someone here who um bound you in some way they had you binded and like you still having them in your mind you still being affected by the sad memories or the angry thoughts of them it it was feeding them in some way they were able to still have some sort of energetic connection to you and now that they don't they like they feel like they don't even exist anymore <laughs> or something weird okay lord have mercy Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Listen, I'm gonna announce the winner today for this deck, okay? But I'm gonna I'm gonna announce it a little later. Right now, it's um, is 1:19 on the clock, okay? Crap, <laughs> it's 1:19. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we have? Uh. Something about time is of the essence. Or someone ran out of time. We got eight of swords. Somebody here is having a lot of negative thoughts because you're about to receive some sort of love here. It says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Someone here wanted you to, they wanted you to see everything as doom and gloom for you. Someone wanted you to be stuck in, a, in, a, in your own head. Somebody wanted you to be um, in a mental prison here. They wanted you to be constantly experiencing drama and chaos okay this person wanted you to feel stuck and bounded they wanted you to feel paralyzed from making a decision um they constantly wanted you to be in like uh, uh, the energy of crisis but you're not whoever i'm speaking to i also feel like someone's upset because they feel like um they trapped themselves we have self-entrapment someone here feel like they trapped themselves when it came to like trying to do spells on you this could have been someone here who was doing love spells or come to me smells spells or something um we got page of cups this could have been somebody here who 
is younger than you. I don't know. Or you could have been dealing with someone who is an artist of some sort. Or someone was hoping that you were going to, you, you were naive. They thought they could love bomb you or like it trap you with love. It didn't work though. Sorry, <laughs> Remy. It's a lot. So there could be a, a queen of coins that is envying you. Okay. Or you could be this queen of coins. Okay. Or someone's envious. That someone here could be envious of your um, the way you do business. Okay, you could be someone who's very business savvy. All right, someone here could be envious of your impeccable taste. I'm just reading what this says on the cards. Okay, someone here could be envious of like maybe the way you dress, the jewelry you wear. Okay, maybe someone's envious of like your skin complexion. That's where some of you, not all y'all. Maybe someone's envious of like how you're put together or something someone also could be envious of your your colorful aura that's another thing that i'm getting or someone here could be envious of the fact that you still continue to stay grounded even though they throw they've been throwing a bunch of shit at you you still remain to be flexible somebody really thought they were gonna i don't know maybe they thought you weren't flexible or you weren't i don't fucking know child somebody thought wrong all right. Someone also could be envious that you're still a caring, loving person after everything that they have done. You could be someone who's very classy and someone's envious of this. You could be someone who's very prosperous and they're very envious of this. Or you're very detailed about something. Somebody jealous, okay? We have the Three of Swords, we have the Strength card, and we have the King of Swords. So this could be a King of Swords here that's envious of your strength because they feel like you broke their heart in some way okay so, or this person just knows that they lost you they don't have any chance to get back in this person could be a libra gemini or aquarius does not have to be okay or you could be but child i don't feel that way i also feel like somebody here was trying to cause you some sort of legal legal someone was trying to cause you legal matters okay in order to break you down because they didn't like how strong you were someone wanted you to someone wanted to humble you or like put you down a peg this is a weirdo this could be a man or a woman who was trying to do this but regardless of whoever it's this it's, it's disgraceful this activity okay um someone wanted to cause you some deep emotional pain Somebody wanted to cause you some grief, whoever this envious, envious ass weirdo person. Let's find out who this is. Ah, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this envious ass person that we need to be aware of? A Leo. So Leo here that could be very much envious of you that was trying to take you down. This person could have thought they were the greatest of all time. So they wanted to like make other people see that too by bringing you down i don't know someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a goat don't have to be or this person worships the devil or someone here signed a deal or made a deal with the devil in order to break you down or in order to destroy you in some way because they were envious of you that's for some of you not all y'all tell me more spirit or you're a leo flip it where it needs to go please i'm not your mama i'm not your daddy let me read her okay this person was very fleeting. Their the their love for you or how they felt about you. It was like this way, or that way. We have Gemini. Someone here could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart that was envious of you doing this shit. Okay, or someone here is about to get exposed for some sort of lie that they told. Or or someone is gonna be exposed for being the person who is the source of drama, the source of some sort of lie or rumor. When it came to you, tell me more spirit. Or someone lied in court and we're gonna get in trouble for that. We got rabbit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. This could be you or whoever was envious, okay? This person could have a connection with your family. I don't know. Or something about your family could be involved in this situation that was envious of you or they are envious of you. We have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries that's envious of you or someone here was just definitely in some form of competition with you. 
okay? Or they wanted to challenge something that you had built for yourself. We have coming in as a partner or a companion. You could have had ex-lovers as well that were being sent to you in order to try to dis try to destroy you in some way, cause you grief, cause you pain, cause you loss in somehow. This could have been a feminine energy who was doing this, okay? Or this is something that was happening to a feminine energy. Ay, Dios mío, you mean. Whatever this is, whatever this envious person was attempting to do to you, just know that it's being balanced. Balance is being restored. So whatever this person tried to send to you, it's being sent back on them. So these people could be having a lot of issues when it comes to their own love life, their own self-love, when it comes to their own mental stability, okay? When it comes to their finances, they could be going through legal issues, okay? Because they were trying to make you go through legal issues. This person could be feeling very weak, okay? These people could be experiencing some sort of heartache. They could be feeling like they could be crying a lot. They could be feeling like they're like they are misunderstood, but people are actually just seeing them clearly. Okay. Because you're the one who's getting some sort of victory and success here. Okay. Someone here could be um, under the influence. So somebody here could be drinking a lot. It could be a group of people. Okay. Who were also celebrating something before the final whatever it is someone here they celebrated too soon okay basically someone else was influenced i'm also getting like now that people see that you're receiving some sort of victory and success they want to come join you arrival now wants to join you someone here could be partying a lot someone here could be drinking a lot smoking a lot snorting a lot shooting up a lot whatever it is why do we have um happiness yeah someone clearly sees that you're happy okay or you're about to have a moment of clarity here you need to stay focused okay if you stay focused and you take action on what you really want and you take action on what your your inner guidance is telling you then you will end up being happy it says i'm aware that being happy means that i am on the right path so if you're not happy right now maybe there's a certain choice you got to take or you need to see something more clearly or something like that i'm also getting like someone here is upset because they know that they could have been happy with you if they were on your side instead of against you okay especially if this is like a romantic partner that decided to compete against you because they didn't like what you had going on so what time is it okay why do we have purpose Somebody is going to be under judgment because you are in your life purpose. You're going to be receiving the Ten of Coins, or this could be a whole family here that is going to be under judgment. A whole co a community, a group, um, an ent uh, uh, I was about to say an entity. Well, same thing. A business, um, a corporation. All right. They're going to be under judgment. And whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get um, your child. So you're going to be privileged in some way. Okay, or you already are privileged because you're it, you are in your life purpose. You've learned you have learned the much needed lessons, okay, to get up to this point. You have understood what the purpose of forgiveness is, the importance of forgiveness as well. You are getting some sort of rebirth or a renewal or something here about a second chance at life. Okay? Because things need to be made balanced for you. Someone here could be a Scorpio or a Saggy that was involved in this. You could be a Scorps or a Sag. Okay. Something is coming into perfect balance. All right. Peace. Also, yeah. No, let me just leave it like that. Let's get our big birthday and see what we got going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What do they need to hear at this time? We have time is up. That's what you need to hear. Time is up for these motherfuckers. You're being asked to really cleanse your space. It's important at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. 
we a boss bitch you you a boss bitch you 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 rise you rose to the occasion someone doubted that you would but you did someone's name could be Keisha, kayla kathy karen some with a k christian Chris, christy uh, something um we have scorpio okay something here is being rebirthed i also feel like something here is ending i'm also getting like someone tried to hide that you were a boss bitch or that you were on top of yourself or on top of yourself on top of your shit <laughs> or this could have been somebody here who was trying to like sit on you hold you down so that you couldn't be on top i don't know we have i bought you okay the divine has you okay i'm not gonna do that we have cancer gemini cusp okay someone here could be a cancer gemini cusp maybe there was a cancer gemini cusp that paid somebody to end something but they decided not to do that maybe this is someone here who tried to who paid a practitioner to do something to you but like the practitioner is telling them they can't time is up like you're in your life purpose there's nothing i could do to this boss bitch or boss dude and then this person could be saying but i paid you something like that we have it is what it is okay it is what it is I'm also getting if something ends up um, ending, okay, you need to have this attitude of it is what it is at this time, okay? Because whatever's supposed to be, whatever is meant for you is meant for you. Let, let, if things are failing or if something is like falling apart, let it fall apart. It's a probably supposed to, okay? You need to know that spirit has your back and you are loved. We have south node someone here could be in their fucking south node wherever whoever's in their south node the time is up we have comfortable living in their lower self so someone here is comfortable living in their lower self they are not wanting to grow they don't have interest in growing they don't have interest in they're not interested in, in doing any shadow work or releasing any resentment or forgiving those who betrayed them this person just wants to be stuck in that like i'm angry energy everything is everyone else's fault because that's also kind of a victim like a victimhood mentality if you're still angry over something that someone did to you i'm gonna be honest you, you that is victim never mind we have a waxing gibbous moon okay things are getting wrapped up we got two 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 or whatever you guys could be seeing this number you're being asked to focus on the things that you want not what you don't want so focus on what you want to happen positively for you we have fake apology so someone's going to come in with some sort of fake apology this is someone here who's still comfortable living in their lower self wanting to give you a fake ass apology this could be a fucking stepmom of yours or a mother that was emotionally unavailable okay that was like a real low flying airplane tell me more spirit what's going on we have 555 five, five. expect the under, unexpected okay so you may not see this coming or now you're probably going to see this coming because i told you we have they're mad because you you're fucking up the church's money so somebody feels like you're fucking up the church's money this is why they were trying to attack you in some way or there could be a church here or or a cult group or a organization that is going to give you a fake ass apology because of something that they try to do to you they could have involved the cops they could have been trying to get you in trouble with the law because of whatever you were saying or or there could be a cop here that's going to give you a fake apology okay for invading your privacy or doing something they weren't supposed to do tell me more spirit We have win at all costs. So there could have been a stepmom here that was trying to win at all costs, a Scorpio that was trying to win at, win at all costs, whoever it is, whoever was trying to end something for you, they were trying to win at all costs. They are all, they're all going to get fucked up. We have if you know who you are, then you'll know what to do. North node. 
somebody here like i was saying they didn't want you to know what your purpose was they didn't want you to know what you were supposed to do next but whoever i'm speaking to i'm pretty sure you already did that and if you didn't you need to fucking find out what your north node is or find out what you're here to do we have calling texting emailing you using fake accounts profiles to vamp off your energy from you so somebody here could be trying to like harass you in order to get energy from you do not give them a fucking reaction we have sexual abuse okay something about that is of significance maybe someone was trying to um say that you did this to them in order to stop you in some way in order to win at all costs okay ugh. we got warning this is a test so someone here might give you a gift it's a test don't accept any gifts at this time we have credit score 700 to 800 you're someone here who has like a good reputation and someone here was really trying to destroy your reputation because they felt like you were taking money from them or you were taking something from them all right this person is going to come in with a fake apology we have trying to make you feel guilty so someone's going to come in to try to make you feel guilty because now their life is in shambles but that's because they were fucking with you or someone here might end up in jail and they're going to try to call you and give you a fake apology hoping that you'll take care of them or something i don't know tell me more we have believe in yourself someone really didn't want you to believe in yourself we have praying mantis someone here could have been praying on your downfall someone here just didn't know who you was tell me more we have pay attention we're solving crimes right here something about a church a corrupt church dude is gonna get exposed or is gonna have some sort of downfall we have snake someone here could be a snake or there's a snake here that was trying to win at all costs You're, you could have the chinese zodiac sign of a snake we have not to be trusted someone here is not to be fucking trusted here something is a test to see if you learned your lessons we have self-made success story you are a self-made success story we have aurora run away okay someone here is losing some sort of power someone here that once had some sort of power or control over you they're losing it and they're losing their mind because of it okay you took your power back or there could be a literal power outage who's not to be trusted joe who's not to be trusted someone nearby you is not to be trusted or is someone who wants to get near you they're not to be trusted this could be a soulmate so this could be a close friend this could be an ex this could be a family member family or past connection wants to come towards you they might want to give you something something that's unexpected it's a test please don't trust this person can we get some zodiac sign spirit this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of a goat this person could be an aquarius or this person might want to come in and act like they want to heal something with you but this person is not being genuine someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a tiger a monkey someone that you've known for a long time someone here also might want to come in and offer you long-term commitment this person is not to be trusted yeah someone someone here might even offer you money or something in order to um in order for something to be balanced out in their life okay with this libra card here or you're a libra or this is a libra that should not be trusted i don't know flip it where it needs to go child i am not your mama I'm not your daddy like I was saying before, you know your life better than you, or the better than I do. So just figure it out. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else do they need to hear, spirit? Something's gonna happen in three days. What's today?
22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. So something might happen. Oh shit, that's the lunar eclipse, isn't it? No, I'm tripping. Am I? That's the 29th, 28th, 27th, 26th, 25th. No, yeah, the lunar eclipse. Time is up for these people in the next three days with this lunar eclipse. We have Hitman is still watching you. And Hitman is still watching you. We have eyes. There's a lot of eyes on you in the spiritual and in the 3D. Because someone here is trying to win at all costs. I'm also getting like somebody here is trying to run away from something. We have lying under oath. What was I saying? Yeah, someone here got in, is getting in major trouble because they lied under oath about you we got no someone really does not like the word no you could have said no to someone and they flipped the fuck out they flipped their lid someone here does not know how to handle hearing no that's not your problem it really isn't tell me more and don't feel guilty for saying no someone is going to be experiencing some fucking bad karma We have shoes. Somebody wished they were in your shoes. I'm so grossed. I'm grossed out of these people. We have listen with your heart. It says you will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand. Grandmother Willow. If your grandmother has passed away, they could be helping, helping you, guiding you at this time. Yeah, these people... People are now saying these people as someone who are people who are soulless, people who are heartless, people who have no empathy. This is disgusting. Like the only reason someone's coming to you is because they're experiencing bad karma and they're going to ask you for help. The person they were trying to destroy. Look, they're facing bad karma now. Chow, please. This hitman that was watching you or that was hired, they're they're facing bad karma. Anybody who this who's part of some sort of weird church or cult, they're getting bad karma. Okay, whoever's trying to ruin your reputation, they're getting bad karma. Okay. Everybody who was trying to come against you, they're getting bad karma. We have listen, Linda, pay attention to your surroundings. What else do they need to hear? Spirit. Let's do this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear regarding this reading, Spirit? We have deserted, left out in the cold, ghosted, abandoned, heartbreak, left out or left at the altar, loss of support, ignored. Somebody's upset because you're ignoring them. The people that were, were fucking you over are now trying to play the victim. They could be going, they might listen, you might listen. Some of you might hear some wild shit coming from these people's mouths. They might start to say like, oh, you so-and-so, the collective abandoned me. They left me out in the cold. Like someone is going to really try it. <laughs> someone is going to really try it. Don't allow them to make you feel guilty. Do not allow them to make you feel like you did something wrong by setting boundaries and protecting yourself. You are royalty. Remember that. Tell me more. Someone here is going to have a mental breakdown. They were trying to get you to have a mental breakdown. By sending you all types of fucking frequencies. Child, please. This person is going to be losing their fucking mind. Alright? This person could be losing sleep. Okay? Or the guilt is going to drive them nuts. Okay. Someone here could also be like walking the desert. Like fucking completely lost in the mind. Maybe even hopped up or strung out on drugs or something. We have karma's kitchen being held accountable for all actions. That's what's happening to these people. Okay, they're going to be <laughs> attracting karmic attention. Everything is uncovered. Everyone's going to be seeing these people exactly as who they are. 
Wow. The divine is is whipping up this fucking plate for them to eat. I also feel like someone here is about to like eat their own words too. Yeah, they're about to experience a lot of setbacks, a lot of failures, a lot of frustration, okay? They're going to be held back and they're just going to be keep they're going to keep getting whoops with no breaks. This is a karmic. This is someone here that was trying to give you legal problems, take you to court. This person does not know how to control their emotions, okay? Something about butt sex. Okay, that's the card I didn't want to I didn't want to put out there. But um something about something about that is significant. Tell me more what's going on. Maybe someone here likes it in the booty. I don't know. We have goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. Deaf tones. Someone, okay, someone here might be saying goodbye to someone. This could be a divine masculine here who's saying goodbye to somebody that they're with in order to come towards a divine feminine in order to pop the question. But I don't know how I feel about this. You could be someone who's very confident. You could be this boss bitch, this queen bee. What do I have a goodbye? Okay, this could, someone here is going to be leaving someone hanging with no closure. All right. Divine Feminine, you could just be focusing on yourself. You could be focusing on loving yourself. Some sort of shocking news. Something is going to be unexpected. You could be happily single right now and then bam, all of a sudden, some someone's going to be asking you to marry them or something. I don't know. Tell me more. What we got this goodbye? Maybe this is what someone was trying to stop from happening. Someone's wishing for you, dude. Someone is wishing for you, manifesting for you. Or someone's wishing someone will leave you hanging, but they're not. Okay? Listen. Somebody wanted you to cope in unhealthy ways, Divine Feminine. Someone here wants you drinking your ass off. Or someone wants you to be, like, under substance abuse or something like that. I don't fucking know. Or someone here can't cope because they know that they, they left the Divine Feminine hanging. They can't cope with it any longer, okay? Or this could be a narcissist who can't cope with the fact that you cut them off, you said no, and the, or they no longer have access to you. That's another thing that I'm getting. Or they can't cope with the fact knowing that Divine Feminine, you're gonna have new love in your life and that's what they don't want. This is someone here who could have been trying to keep you binded to them, okay? I don't know. Be careful about who you sleep with. Even if this person comes in saying all the right things and, and shows up with a ring, be careful. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? This could be someone here who's bisexual with this whole, this card, the, the booty sex card. <laughs> the booty sex card. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> Tell me more, spirit. What's happening in three days? Being seen as a fraudster or a scam artist. So in the next three days, somebody here who was trying to destroy you, they're going to be seen as a fraud, a liar, a scam artist. Tell me more. What's going to happen in the next three days? Okay. We have watching you prosper with shmoney. That's what they're going to see. That's what's going to happen in the next three days. What's this? We have being denied help and assistance someone here is not going to get the much needed help that they that they want in the next three days someone here might be coming to you for help in the next three days bitch you need to say fucking no because if you help this person this person's plan is to steal from you with this second degree burglary don't let somebody in your house this person could be hopped up on drugs or alcohol okay or someone's going to try to steal from you because they need to feed their addiction holy spirit holy angels tell me more with the next three days we have the devil coming to collect their soul. Who will save your soul?
We got fertility issues. Someone here wanted to cause you fertility issues. Or someone else. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. But it's backfiring on this person. We have unemployment. Laid off. Fired. Somebody is getting fired in the next three days. And they're going to be forced to watch you live your best fucking life. Because they were trying to destroy it. Or try to take you. Take your life away from you. We have suffering stress related body changes. Okay, so someone here could be experiencing a lot of stress at this time. They could be losing their hair. They could be gaining weight. Um, they could be experiencing migraines or headaches because of all the stress. Uh, they could be experiencing insomnia. They could be having um, a loss of an appetite. Okay, they could be barfing. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? What else do they need to know? We have black salt power. Use black salt to break uh, hexes and repel unwanted energies. Okay, so maybe this is something that you guys might want to do. Okay, tell me more, spirit, because someone here could be trying to hex you. We have public eye. It says you are being watched by multiple people who don't have your best interest at heart. So you could have a lot of people, if you are in the public eye, watching you, giving you the evil eye. Bitch, who cares? If you're in the public eye, just listen. God got you. God guided you and put you in the public eye for a reason. You are protected. Tell me more. And also, plus, your enemies are being forced to watch you live your best life. So, yeah, of course, there's going to be people that are going to watch you that don't have your best interest. And that's why you should be careful about the knowledge that you share. That's why I don't, I don't say everything about my life up on this bitch. Tell me more. We have toxic fixation. You got somebody here who has an obsession with you. Okay? It says someone is attracted to your light. And they're obsessed with trying to dim it. To destroy it. To... to To make your light go out. Somebody's weird. We got mirror work. It says someone is using mirror work to bring you problems and issues. Clean your mirrors. Pray over them. <gasps> what should they do before I get the shells out? What do they need to do? People just need to get it together. Like, for real. It says block them physically and energetically. You need to block some people, okay? Or pray for them not to be able to have access to your energy, okay? Or you can affirm it into the universe. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear at this time? Look, it says pray against monitoring spirits and be discreet. You need to do that, okay? Because they really watch you. Tell me more. We have spiritually cleanse your home. That's what you're being asked to do. Tell me more spirit. Cleanse and refresh your statues or effigies. That's what you're being asked to do. What else? So cleanse, 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 cleanse. You're just being asked to cleanse. It says smudge or smoke your environment with cleansing herbs. And then it says smudge or smoke your body with cleansing herbs. So your body and your environment just cleanse okay and then we have this i don't even know how to say this saint alaho alejo says carry enemies away protection from harm you are protected from all harm you're protected from any plots or plans or schemes of the enemy all right holy spirit holy angels what the hell is going on what are they going to do here this time what's going on loud as a hill okay someone's first middle or last name can start with an o can start with a v can start with an i can start with a y can start with an a can start with an m with a j with an e with a b 
with a C, with another E, with an H, with a U, two U's, we got L. We have F, we have O again, we have Z, we have R, we have G, W, N. You need to say no. Big N-O. You need to say no. You need to do it now. If you still have people around you that you know are energetic vampires, cut them off now. Say no. These people went really low to try to destroy you. Okay? Or these people have very low of vibrations. Okay? Someone's name is Noel. Or somebody here was trying, somebody went real low. Whatever they did during Christmas of last year, they did something. I don't know. They did some sort of ceremony ritual on you, and it was like a low. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't good. Okay. Someone's name could be Ellie or Ella or Ellen. Okay. Someone's name could be Nelly, okay? Neil. We have Elon. Someone's name could be Elon. Someone's name could be Vicky. Or Vinny. Someone here could be Italian. Someone's name could be Benjamin or Ben. Or Benny. Okay? Somebody wants to get you alone. Ciao. Somebody wants to get you alone somewhere. Please don't. Just give me this hitman. Be careful. All right. Someone here could be Jewish. We got the word Jew out here. Okay. This could be you or someone else. We got brew. Maybe somebody wants to give you a beer or something. We got brew out here. Or a brewery. Maybe some of you work at a brewery. Someone's name could be Drew. Someone here could be losing a job. Or you might be getting a new job opportunity. We got job out here. Alright. Someone here could have HIV. We have HIV. Be careful of who you have sexual intercourse with. Okay, it doesn't matter if this person's coming in with a ring and promising the world, pr promising you the world. This person wants to come in and create grief, loss in your life. This is someone who's envious of you. This could be an ex for some of you. Be careful. Someone here is horny. Okay, they have a lot of sexual energy for you. We got the word horny. Okay. We also got the word money. Okay, you're going to be receiving some sort of money here. Maybe this is something that you need at this time. Or you've been asking for or manifesting. Alright. We got the word Hebrew. Someone here could be, I don't know, Hebrew, a Hebrew, I don't know. Someone's initials could be MJ. Something about the month of May could be significance. We got May here. Someone's middle name, first name could be May. We got long. Something's been happening for a long time. Or something is long overdue. Or some sort of beef you have with someone is like all the way back to Hebrew times or something. I don't know. Okay. Someone's in a jam and they want you to help them out of it. Someone here is a con artist. Someone here could be a... a someone thought something was comedic and now it's blowing up in their face. The same old shit we get, chow. Okay, someone here could be from Australia. Someone here could be from Austin, Texas. 
Okay, someone's name could be Lou. Okay. Or Lewis. We have Lewis out here. Or Louie. Someone's name could be Brad. Something about a laboratory. Maybe there's some sort of uh, lab experiments, lab experiments gone wrong, or lab experience, experiments that were unethical that are going to be exposed. Okay. Something about a jar. If someone here was trying to, like, trap you in a jar or do something with you when it comes to jar magic, it's going to backfire. Someone here might be ending up in a hospital with an IV. We got IV out here. Someone's name could be Evie. Something about somebody's car. You need to check your car. The lugs, the lug nuts on your car. Someone here might end up getting in a car accident and going into a coma. We got the word coma out here. This could be the karma they're going to be experiencing. I do not wish this on anyone. We got home out here. Something about someone's home. Maybe someone might show up to your home. Someone here might be losing a home. Someone definitely is going to be seen as a liar. We got the word liar out here. Someone's name could be Brienne or Brian. Marie, Mary. Something about a group of men or a man. Okay. Someone needs to reload something. I don't like this. Something about a gun. You're being asked to refrain from something. Someone's name is Jacob. Or you're about to receive your inheritance that someone was trying to stop you from having. Okay? I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, what else do they need to hear, Spirit, before we bounce? What do they need to hear, Spirit? What do they need to hear? What do they need to hear? What do they need to hear? We have keep moving forward, even if you are unsure of your next step or where it may take you. Trust that you are walking the path you are meant to walk. Remember, we are walking it with you. Trust yourself more. Please trust yourself in this next three days or for, just trust yourself in general, child. You need to trust yourself. Don't be relying on other people outside of you in order to like figure out what you should do next. Just like I was saying in the beginning of this reading with mentoring, like you need to trust you, trust your inner compass. Okay. We have, make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. Cause you're going to have a lot of people talking some shit. Um, it says you need to know your worth. Even when others don't, you are not what people think of you. Amen. Tell me more, spirit. What else is going on? Because motherfuckers be trying it for real. We have sometimes walking away is the only option, not because you want to make someone miss you or realize they took you for granted, but because you finally respect yourself enough to know that you deserve better. Damn straight. And then it says, trust yourself mo more. It says, know that you are in the right place at the right time. Opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to. 
all in divine timing get relaxed or not get relaxed well yeah get relaxed but also get excited about the future again instead of fearing it get excited about your future don't be scared don't be all scaredy scared that's what they want you to do they want you to be scared so you can attract low vibrational fucking things for your future get excited get excited like you're going to fucking disneyland tomorrow or some shit get excited all right what else they need to hear spirit before i bounce because i got orders i need to pack and ship out we have don't live down to expectation oh don't live down to expectations go out there and do something remarkable okay take action on your dreams or goals and your aspirations it says for they can't conquer who believe they can for they can conquer who they believe they can if you believe you can conquer something you will tell me more what else is going on what else i need to have we have act as if what you do makes a difference because it does and then we have success seems to be largely a matter of hanging on after others have let go listen i hear this a lot when it comes to people who are like in the entertainment business like people who are like comedians actors actresses blah 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 musicians it's not it's because they would those people who want to get into that industry a lot of people end up not becoming successful because they end up giving up on themselves a lot of the successful people that you see like in the media they received a lot of fucking no's they had a lot of doors slammed on them they had they have been told a lot of like misguided advice on what they should do in order to be successful you know listen you need you have to be a strong person <laughs> to be in that position okay um you have to have a good sense of self all right don't give up is basically what i'm saying because you might be giving up right before you receive a blessing okay listen this is gonna be the end of your reading don't forget to like comment share subscribe until next time i love you i do okay bye